morning, Erica. The tornado swept through Minneapolis and parts of the northwest suburbs, leaving behind extensive property damage. A tornado struck a residential area of North Minneapolis Sunday afternoon, damaging scores of homes and ripping trees right from the ground. It just sounded like the world was ending. Oh my goodness! No way! Oh my god, you guys power lines, everything down, homes destroyed. Oh my god. It was a horn sound, and next thing you know, there was just stuff flying everywhere. And we started scrambling around in the garage with kids in our hands, just trying to stay protected. At least one person was killed and 30 others injured. After the tornado hit, which was a Sunday, I mean, I was in the neighborhood driving around, saw the devastation, saw the wires cracking on the ground and kids at the bus stop waiting, and very quickly mobilized my staff. We joined the other organizations. The, I think the second day after the tornado, there was a, a large meeting of organizations. We were on the ground from basically day one, providing resources and relief to families that were, dam that were uh, devastated by the tornado. Well, the main reason I'm here is for the community, for the community and for the kids, an opportunity for us to not only reopen the Metrodome, but also to let the people know that um, North Minneapolis is a place where people can go, they can feel safe, and also know that that tornado that went through there didn't devastate the community. It impacted the houses, but didn't impact the people, and to get those kids back in school. It's a fantastic thing to be involved with this Week Air event. Um, when Izell contacted me, I knew immediately we wanted to be a part of it because this is a really important thing, gathering the community and getting people thinking about ongoing, recurring ways to bless the community. A lot of times when things happen, you get these one-off things or you know things that aren't sustainable. We're trying to build something that's recurring and sustainable, and the We Care event is a great first step toward that. I consider this a community building event and it's really about coming together. Actually the dome is opening which is an event in and of itself but more important than that this is about bringing people together around a common cause. Uh, there was tragedy in this community not too long ago with the tornado. Many of our families including families in our school uh, were impacted and uh, this, this event is going to bring in opportunity for kids to get school supplies. Uh, it's really coming together around a common agenda of community building. Once we show we care about our community, that solves all the problems. And everybody's showing that, and I think that's the solution. Let's continue the effort. Uh, well, we're at the event today actually to support local community tornado relief for, uh, for North Minneapolis. Um, it was a great opportunity for us to get involved and uh, play with some really cool musicians. The beautiful thing about this day is that we're really bringing together two bad things, the collapse of the Metrodome and the tornado in North Minneapolis, and celebrating the real accomplishments of the community in uh, addressing these things. And here we've got a beautiful day and a big turnout, and I know there is a way to go for both um, issues because the Vikings are still in seeking a new stadium and the North Side still needs a lot of help. But we've come a long way and we're here to celebrate that was asked to come and help be a part of something dope like as far as like the families that were victim of the tornado in Minneapolis they asked if I wanted to do a show to help support that and I said of course so that's why I'm here. We're working with World Vision um, to get them coached to provide through their network of agencies that they work with in the Twin Cities areas with new coats. They've already gotten 1500 coats from us for this year and we're hopeful to get them another uh, 2500 uh, fundraising permitting. Well, you know, um, we live in a 
place called Minnesota that has so many gifts, but we have weather that's pretty severe, and this tornado was, uh, was monstrous. So were the snows this winter. But I think uh, reopening this building, rebuilding North Minneapolis really proves that uh, Minnesotans um, can survive and thrive. North Minneapolis is going to take a while. Um, 10,000 hands have really reached around North Minneapolis and helped, and uh, we're going to need them to continue to do that. But the progress is moving forward, and uh, I think the people in North Minneapolis just want to say thank you to people from all around this whole region who've been part of helping to bring the north side back.